I just finished sketching her and I just posted her on Instagram and I looked at my photo and it gives me a different view and I'm looking at the photo and I see that this eye is much larger than the other one whereas when I look at my drawing right here I started erasing it but when I look at my drawing here I really cannot tell all that much. Uh, it's funny how a photo puts a different perspective on something so um, I'm going to fix her eye the best way that I can. This is what she looks like so far. I did not record the process because I wasn't sure if I was going to um, use her or not. Uh, her hair is kind of wild but that's okay. So what I want to do is use uh, these powdered uh, dyes. This is by Magenta. It's called Nuance and I've got a whole series of colors here that I've, I've already swatched a few of them but um, here they are. <laughs> um, they come in a little bottle like this and all you have to do is take a push pin and poke a hole on top and it makes a tiny tiny hole where you can um, um, shake off some of the powder on your on your surface. Now I haven't swatched all of the colors. Um, uh, wait a second. So this is that color. It's a nice uh, rich purple. This is this one here. Uh, this one is the raspberry. And this one here is turquoise. Now when I did this one here I did not this is where I put the powder so you can see that it traveled all this way this is hot pink so that's the other color that I swatched and this is gray it's fun to have a gray in a powdered form because you know um, gray is a good neutral color and black sometimes is quite harsh I feel really 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 tempted to just drop the powder and then spray Ho oh, ho, wouldn't that be wild and crazy? So, I'm gonna do that. I haven't swatched the, um, this is red. So let's see here. I'm just gonna drop the powder. I hope this is close enough for you to see. This is golden yellow. I like that sound. Okay, I got my spray bottle here. Okay, here he goes. Oh, snap. Oh, oh, purple, look at that. Oh, that's cause my, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I have bits and pieces on my mat. Um, so that's why I get blue and purple uh, because not on my mat, but on my drawing cause I had my bottles there and I've used some of them, so. That's funny. getting a big blob there. So I'll let that dry. This is going to be totally transparent to you but it actually has been three weeks since I recorded the previous uh, segment that you just watched. I'm going to continue coloring her with the Nuance uh, powders and I want to add a little bit of blue to shade her face. Um, it's quite funny because to me now she looks like Wolverine <laughs> uh, because of the the blooming effect that I have here. She looks like she's got sideburns, so I kind of need to take care of that. I'm gonna 
use the powders in a different way because in part one I kind of sprinkled the powder and played with that. Now I want something a little bit more precise. So I'm going to take the hot pink. need to let her dry just a little bit.
that I'm gonna let her mm, sleep for something happened with the mouth here yeah I'm gonna have to add something to the mouth on the right on the left side because now I've extended it on the right ah. <laughs> might have to rework her mouth eventually but um, for now I'm going to leave that alone uh, I might add to it later okay so I'm gonna let this dry thoroughly before adding anything else the next step is to do the stenciling I can however stamp the quote and I love this quote by Audrey Hepburn uh, nothing is impossible. The world, the world, the word itself says I'm possible, which I love. So I know where I want it stamped. Now I'm stamping on watercolor paper, so it might have a totally different look than what I want it to be. Look how nice it is against the um, the colors. Ah. Uh, love that yeah I want to add this flower from this stencil uh, this is by magenta also and it is kiss motif number TM 101 and I'm going to mix the golden yellow powder to light molding paste happened here I must have dropped some water because she has some decorations to her mouth <laughs> but uh, yeah I'm gonna have to fix that I don't know what happened here it's still wet um, I'm gonna do the um, this at the bottom so this time around I'm not gonna add any tint to the embossing powder uh, not the embossing but the um, the molding paste Okay, so uh, one more day and um, I've let it dry overnight. I'm already liking the way it looks. I like this, this border I really love. It's pretty and that quote there is just enough and it's funny because it kind of makes a frame. It frames the face with the flower. I just grabbed my Prismacolor pencils because I do want to add some accents to the face and also like shading a little bit more and like just refining uh, the details and I've had some um, bleeding happening here over the lips so I'm just going in with my white Prismacolor pencil and I want to put like a little halo around her mouth <music>
sampled something off camera because I wasn't entirely sure about it. And um, I took four colors of pencil crayons. I'm not blanking is where I use the crayons. I think I'm going to cover the whole thing back up with um, another layer of molding paste without pigment. And I'm going to go over that after with the, um, the pigments because I think that's my best bet. I'm going to add some white gouache. This is by Holbein. All right, she's done. She's done, I'm calling it a day. I've had a lot of fun with her, but it's time to move on to another project. I loved my experience working with the Nuance powders. I put mine in this plastic box. Um, have all these colors to play with. What I like about these is the fact that you can sprinkle on as little as you want. They don't fly all over the place, so I like that. I like the control. And I love the colors, they're gorgeous. Yeah, I think what makes the pages this quote. I just love it. Love that. So I'm very happy with her. I'm actually very happy with her. I, she looks very sad. Uh, I don't know why I keep doing sad faces. I, like I said before many, many times, I'm not a sad person. I'm totally not. <laughs> Somehow, the eyes are always sad. But that's the way it is. I'll have to practice that. <laughs> I hope that you've enjoyed this and you've learned a few things. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see, see you later. Bye.